One local area is known for its arts, its restaurants, and its horses, even holding the title of the horse capital of New Mexico. And that can be a big draw. But with the good comes the bad. And with this story, the downright weird, mm -hmm. horses are getting targeted. And this unique problem now has officials scratching their heads. It's not the typical crime we tell you about in our newscast, the break-ins, the robberies, and the likes. Tamara Lopez spent the day tracking down what's been happening in this area. And Tamara, uh, what are thieves after this time? Well, Tessa, the Corrales Police Department says it's gotten a lot of reports of stolen horse tails. And officials say the horses had their tails cut off and taken. And as you can imagine, it's left them with a lot of questions. We've had many bizarre things happen down here, but this is one bizarre one. Catherine Keller with Corrales Animal Services is talking about recent reports of horse tails getting cut off and stolen in the village. This is the first we've ever seen of this kind of destruction, I guess you would call it, on a, on a horse. In recent months, Corrales Police Department says two reports have come in with similar stories. Photos in the report show how long the horses' tails used to be, all the way down to their hooves. But after, you can see the tails are noticeably shorter, up to what animal experts call the horse's hock, or knees. One woman told Animal Services she thinks the tail was cut off overnight on her property. And then when she go, went to go and bathe her horses, I guess the following day, um, that's when she noticed that somebody had cut part of their tail off when she was bathing them, so it kind of freaked her out. Animal Services says this is very rare for the area, and Keller only knows of these two incidents. But says horse hair has several uses, like in pottery, jewelry, and fabric, and has a pretty unexpected high price tag. Horse hair can go for thousands of dollars. It's, it's kind of a weird under market or black market type thing with the horse hair. Keller says her department is monitoring and patrolling the area, but adds, if you see something, say something and says there are things you can do to prevent your horse from getting some unwanted grooming. Even going as far as possibly braiding um, some twine, some fabric into your horse's tail, um, putting it up so it doesn't, so it's not out long um, and people can be deterred away from that kind of thing. None of the horses were hurt during these incidents, but officials say just stay alert and consider adding cameras to your property as an extra precaution.